Um, and what I wanted to, to really go over was just very briefly um, about the image and about the cultural mm -hmm. significance. So this image, which is uh, from the shrine of Arleta Guadalupe, which is in Wisconsin, um, they explain a lot of the messages that I was, that I was mentioning. Uh, so when people saw the image, they didn't see just an image the way you and I see it. They saw uh, something very different. Um, so Our Lady Guadalupe, as you can see, uh, you know, her hair, for example, it was, it was a sign that she, that her hair being the way it was, that she was a virgin. Um, because women in the Aztec women at that time, they didn't, uh, that their hair was just um, loose on their head. They didn't do any, any special um, uh, you know, hairdos or anything like that. The way that she's looking, you know, she has her head uh, tilted, meaning that, uh, or in reverence, meaning that, you know, there is someone greater than her. Um, you can see that there's a small cross on her. Uh, the, the, the black um, ribbon that you see coming out of her, um, under her, her hands, that is, um, that was something that was used by women who were expecting babies and they would put a ribbon on top of their bellies uh, so that people would know they were expecting and, 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 and respect them and help them. Uh, so the way we see the image is that, you know, she was expecting. So this was before um, uh, uh, Christmas, before the birth of Jesus. And then all everything else that you see, the stars are the actual uh, constellations that were present in Mexico City at the time when she appeared on December 12th. Um, the, the moon at the bottom, for example, the moon, uh, where she's, she's, she's standing on the moon, the moon had a very important significance to people in Mexico. Uh, the sun, as you can see behind her, the rays, those rays are not coming out of her. She's actually covering the sun and what's behind her is the sun. And the sun, those two symbols, or um, the sun and the moon were very important um, for the, the Mexica culture or the Aztec culture. They were, you know, they're more important deities. So this image is saying that um, according to the studies, it's saying that, you know, she is greater than the sun, she's greater than the moon, but by having her head in the way that she has it in her, in her, in her hands, she's also saying that there's someone greater than her. Um, the, the, uh, there's a lot of uh, different flower designs in her cloth, in her, uh, in her dress. And there's one, one in particular that is a flower that uh, in the middle that symbolizes um, uh, the true God. And so, you know, people saw that and, and they, they obviously understood a message that she was um, uh, the mother of, of God and, and, and that she was the mother of, um, of Jesus Christ. And and then th there's other symbols there, you know, that being that um, she was in the clouds. Also, this image has been around for 490 years, but this type of cloth only lasts about 30 years. Um, so that is very significant. And, and as you can see, when looking at this image, we see a beautiful image, but people back then saw something very different. Um, and now this is the, when she appeared many years later, uh, they was, um, uh, a person named by Valeriano wrote uh, the, the story of the apparitions. And the manuscript where, that he wrote in, uh, the, one of the earliest copies of it, is actually here in New York City. Um, and it's at the public library on, on 42nd Street. And it's been there since 1880. But this document is very, very important because it tells the story of Aledio Guadalupe and it's written in the language of the Aztecs um, in Nahuatl. Uh, very curious that, you know, it ended up being here in New York and it's not in Mexico. Um, it is. Oh, okay. Hold on, let me skip. Oh, okay. So the, the you know, we're, we're talking about, about uh, specifically um, culture and how uh, the Virgin has been so important in, in Mexican culture. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this is a banner and it's the actual uh, banner that was used uh, by uh, Miguel Hidalgo, the, the priest um, who's one of, the, one of the ones who started the call for independence. Um, you know, he, he told people rise against the, uh, the oppressors, uh, in this case being the Spanish empire and, and fight for your independence. And when he said that, this is the banner that he used. And a lot of the people that were, you know, the battles who got together to fight 
um, Our Lady of Guadalupe was always a banner of her um, around Mexico. So this here, you can see, this is a, a mural from uh, Juan O'Gorman, which is in, in Mexico City. And this is just a partial view that, kind of, that tells sort of the way um, the call for independence. And you can see there's a bunch of flags there, but the banner of Our Lady of Guadalupe is there. So Our Lady of Guadalupe, in a way, is, you know, like, uh, mother of independence. You know, when you think of the fathers of, of independence of a country, she is considered one of them. Uh, you know, one of those that was um, with the people uh, rising against the uh, in the oppressive empire. Okay. Sorry, did <clears throat> the so this this is the actual image uh, in this at in Mexico City at the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And as you can see, there's a crown above the image. And um, this is the crown. This crown was made in, in Paris um, in, in the 1890s. And uh, in eight, in, in, on October 12, 1895, uh, Pope Leo XIII crowned Our Lady Guadalupe as the queen of Mexico. Um, this crown is made out of gold and it has diamonds and many uh, uh, precious stones and today hangs above um, the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Sorry, it's the, there's some sort of delay with the switching of the images. Um, no outside of Mexico, there is one very small piece about an inch of the tilma. Um, and that's here in the United States, in California, in the, at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Angels. Um, and it's, it's a relic and is visited by, by many, many people. Um, but it's the only, the only piece of uh, the tilma outside of Mexico that exists. Um, May I inquire, is um, the, the flower in, in the tilma, is that, the one that was uh, mentioned in the first slide, or is we're, we're so, not sure. So the, the the tilma is you know it's a very large piece of cloth, and um, a bishop, uh, the, the 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 cardinal in Mexico City, cut a piece of the tilma, and gave it to um, to the to the archbishop um, from Los Angeles, California, and the reason he did that is because. During the, um, so in the next slide, I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you. Um, this is one of the other, other reasons um, that our Lady Guadalupe is so important. So in the 19, in the early 1920s, in 1926, 1929, the Mexican government um, was becoming or became secular and they wanted to, they started oppressing um, uh, the church and Catholics in Mexico. And so, there was a big war between the government and, 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 um, and the people and the common people in Mexico. Um, there were over 200,000 people that died um, during this time. And um, in the United States, the Catholic Church, especially the Knights of Columbus and, and, and the Bishop of, um, of uh, um, Los Angeles, California, assisted Mexicans um, and they sent, you know, they sent provisions and sent money to them to assist them uh, in their in their in their revolt against the government, mm -hmm. um, and so that's one of the reasons why that the Archbishop of Mexico gave the Archbishop of Los Angeles a little piece of the tilma. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. And so, you know, in speaking about Lady Guadalupe and her influence around the world, really, um, in New York, here at St. Patrick's Cathedral, you 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 can see there is a, there is a big image of her. Um, this image was given by the Archbishop of New York. Um, uh, it, it was given to him by the Archbishop of Mexico City in 1991. But this image is, came from Mexico. It was in, in between the 17th and 19th century. There were many, many images that were created in Mexico and painted by many, many different uh, um, artists. And this is one of those images. Um, it was given to him, but you know, officially, that's the story that that the Archbishop of Mexico gave it to the Archbishop of New York. But in reality, it was the community, the Mexican community in New York, who petitioned uh, the the uh, the bishops to to 
to bring an image from Mexico of our later Guadalupe. So there was signatures, you know, in the early 90s, uh, many, many signatures. And eventually uh, the image was brought, brought and put in the cathedral. Um, but officially, you know, the, the story was that it was a gift from, from one archbishop to the other. Um, and you can find images of her in many parts around the world. Many museums have images um, that were that were painted in Mexico between you know the 16 and and um, and, and um, 18 centuries, 19th century. Um, this is another image that is this one is actually in uh, in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Museum. Um, this was painted by uh, Isidro Escamilla in 1824. And just like that, there's images all around the world uh, of Our Lady Guadalupe that were uh, painted in Mexico. Um, and also many, many of the images were crowned um, uh, um, around the world by either by mandate from the Pope or, or you know, in, in different churches. Um, so the image of Our Lady Guadalupe in, in represents many, many different uh, causes and, and, and it represents you know, uh, Mexico, its culture, its people, but she's really the patron saint of the entire continent, the Americas. She's known as the mother of the Americas. Um, and even though she appeared in Mexico and she brought a message to Mexicans, she is really, you know, uh, Our Lady Guadalupe is really the virgin of, of everyone, anyone who, who follows her. Um, there's so many interesting things about her. You know, there's an institute in Mexico that studies her. Um, that studies the image specifically because there is so, so much um, oh, in that image. So, thank you so much, Juan. Thank you so much, Juan, for the powerful and insightful conversation we've had. Um, I hope everyone will enjoy it. Um, I also would like to take the opportunity to invite everyone to attend um, the Mass of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, for Lincoln Center will be December 12th at 12 p.m. and Rose Hill will be at 12.15, um, also on the, the 12th.